It can often be helpful to see the design in context. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do that using Google SketchUp. This browser-based version of SketchUp for schools doesn't allow to change the background to a static photo. Um, so if we want to add context and the surrounding area to our building, uh, we'll have to do it a different way. First job is we're going to change the style. So we click on the style icon on the right hand side um, and we're going to edit the style and what we want to get rid of is if we scroll down we want to get rid of the guides model axis and section cuts and we also want to get rid of on the background the sky so what we want really is a plain green choose quite a bright obscure color because it makes removing the background later a lot easier a bit like using a green screen in um, and creating a background for a video the next job is to have a look at your photo that you've got I've just used Google Earth to find my site and I want to make sure that my building is roughly the same sort of view or perspective as the photo. So if I flick between the two, what I'm actually looking for is the angles on the sides of the building and the sides of the plot to try and get them roughly or as close as possible. That angle there needs to be the same as that angle there and the same on the other side. Inevitably using this method it won't be exactly the same angle but we will have the ability to tweak the images when we superimpose one image onto the other later. If we then screenshot both of those images we can move across and import them insert them into our PowerPoint. So I've got my image of my Google Earth there and then I'm going to insert over the top of that the image that I want to superimpose so the one that I've screenshotted from Google SketchUp and the first thing we need to do is get rid of the background so there's a remove background button up there and I want to just mark the areas you want to keep because it's worked out most of it but it's just to cut that corner off so I'm just going to make sure I've got that there so now all the purple areas there is what it's going to remove so I can keep changes and what we've got now is it's removed that background so now it is just tweaking the size and the angle of that model to superimpose it into position on my site so the site that we're, you've got is just slightly larger than that grass bank there and just keep going until you're happy that that is the right size and shape I think that's not bad okay so we've now got an image showing what our building will look like in context. 